our, our model is from the ground up, and we picked that for multiple reasons. Between the grain that we get and the hops and all the ingredients that are, are grown from the ground up, and then the other big reason is we did everything to get this place up and running. So we get our malts from Hudson Valley Malt. They floor malt it for us specifically. So when I call him, well, he has a lead time. We pick our malt up fresh when it's done malting. He bags it that day that we're coming. We drive it back here and brew with it. So it's the freshest beer that you can get, really. We get all of our hops from Goddard's Tree Farm right now. Just Cascade hops in the red, the cream, and the pale. So we can use their hops in those three beers because I want to support him. The population in Fulton and even Montgomery County, um, they haven't had much exposure to craft beer. I mean, you got obviously the, the beer stores and stuff in town, but they go in, they know what they like, and they get that. This is a different experience. You know, you get to go to the place that makes it, and you get to talk to people that make it. That's a way different than walking into a beer store and just grabbing a can and, you know, walking your way out. So there's a story behind that beer. There's a, uh, a brewery in Glens Falls who I sat with the brewers after a 5K one day, and we were talking. I didn't, I didn't, didn't think I was gonna ever open a brewery. I just happened to be sitting and talking to them, and they talked about how when they put their brewery in, the community grew around them. And I said, that's cool, because I want to see Gloversville grow. I want to see it to be, I want to be the Gloversville that my grandmother tells stories about, where Main Street was full, and like I want, I it, and I know it's never, not necessarily going to be that, but I want it to be good for my children someday. We went to the Brew Cent for one of the first Brew Central conferences. We weren't even a brewer yet. It was really nice to sit down with people like Nick Matt. How cool is that? He's like a hero, you know. Like, oh, Nick Matt who owns, you know, Matt's Brewing Company, Utica Club. It's like really neat to be able to see him going to something like that, where we're sitting there and we don't even own a brewer yet. But he was rooting us on, you know. And it's like, hey, give me a call anytime. And for someone like that to say that is awesome.